here are some things you need to consider if you want to get into hot shot trucking. Now, hot shot trucking means hauling smaller, typically less than truckload or LTL, as we like to call it, loads. And they're oftentimes time sensitive or usually delivering to a specific site or destination. For example, suppose a construction company needs a specific piece of equipment delivered from one job site to another or from one facility to a job site. In that case, they will oftentimes hot shot it, as they say, hiring a driver to take the load from one location to another one in an ASAP manner. Okay. Rather than being kind of on standby, hotshot drivers often find freight on load boards and relationships that they've made with different construction companies. Um, obviously, on call would be amazing to have that as well, to have those type of person to person interactions when you're talking with these company owners. This is a great, great way. It's a great way for you guys to make some money some extra cash as an independent uh, owner operator okay so how do you start hot shot trucking business how do you do it what are the hot shot trucking requirements typically you got to figure out first on the finance side of the equation okay you got to get your finances in order okay so to start a hot shot trucking business first take a look at what equipment you already have and what you need to buy and make sure you have the money to cover it as well. You'll also need operating um, cash to support your expenses in the beginning until you get that cash flow going to help you get through that startup period, right? Until your hotshot business is a profitable business. Please keep in mind, you have to give yourself some time. There is a there is a startup ramp that you have to deal with. You can't just focus on, uh, you can't just focus on doing, um, you know, something like, uh, you know, 30 days and you're going to be making, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's not the case. This is not a get rich quick scheme. You have to give your guys uh, a chance to really figure out which parts of the country are the best for you to run, uh, to stay in respectively even. Uh, so there's, you got to give yourself time and for people to find your business, to get acquainted with your business, to build your book of business. This is all important for you as a hotshot trucking business. OK, another thing you got to look at is p potentially specializing in a certain type of freight. OK, typically speaking, you likely don't have enough equipment to handle multiple kinds of loads. But the good news is, is that you can actually specialize in the types of freight you haul based on the equipment type that you have. So there's typically different kinds of trucks and trailers to handle different types of loads. So most hotshot trucks are medium size, but typically larger than than pickup trucks, the standard pickup truck that you see. So trucks come in different types. So there's a class three medium uh, medium duty truck, and uh, they have a weight limit between 10,001 pounds and 14,000 pounds. Mainly contractors and last mile delivery drivers use this type of class, but you can also use them for lighter hot shot loads as well. Okay. Class four medium duty trucks have a weight limit between 14,001 pounds and 16,000 pounds. These are heavier trucks, but they're still classified as non commercial. Now, class five medium duty trucks have a weight limit between 16,001 pounds and 19,500 pounds. And many of the lightest commercial trucks are categorized as class five. You can also use trailers for, for, uh, uh, for, for jobs as well. So uh, bumper pull trailers are generally shorter and less expensive. Uh, they're easy to use, and which is why they're very popular with civilian you know, regular drivers, but they can't haul as much, usually less than 10,000 pounds. A removable gooseneck or a gooseneck trailer have a tighter turn radius than bumper pull trailers. So they can usually carry larger, heavier loads. And this can be an adv advantage when delivering to construction sites or other remote areas with little space to turn around as well. Tilt deck trailers that have a tilt at an angle so it's easier to load heavy cargo. This is a different type of trailer you can look at. Also, low boy trailers have a low center of gravity, and it's ideal, of course, for a heavy, for the heaviest loads that you're going to deal with. Dovetail trailers work well if you're hauling cars or other equipment with wheels as well. 
The cool thing about starting a hotshot business is that you can choose to haul only lightweight cargo or you can have small refrigeration trucks or trailers to handle medical or perishable cargo as well. The more you specialize, the easier it will be for customers to refer you to similar work uh, or even for themselves to keep you to keep you busy under their own uh, needs. Deciding on the spe- specialization, though, uh, may involve some trial and error at first until you actually decide what works best for you in the lanes uh, you want. You can always uh, pivot, but choose an industry that you're passionate about uh, from the start. Another thing you got to consider is getting a commercial driver's license. You will need a commercial driver's license, CDL, if you don't already have one. These licenses come in various levels depending on the type of vehicle you'll be driving and the load that you will carry. In an example, if you might need hazmat certification to carry medical loads or carry ter- certain types of chemical loads, the rules vary by state and there are various driving schools and testing options available out there. Another thing you're going to need is creating yourself, your business uh, identity. In other words, your LLC, your limited liability corporation, or some other company structure to protect yourself from liability claims. An LLC is typically in the USA the simplest way to organize your business, and it's the best way for most hotshot businesses with pass-through income, okay? So this helps you avoid the double taxation you will encounter in certain states with a C corporation or another structure other than the LLC. You can file LLC paperwork with the Secretary of State in most states, and most have online options to do this as well. You also have to obtain yourself your EIN, okay? This is your employer identification number from the IRS. You can do this online if you're an American citizen, of course, um, or in America, you can do this, okay? Open a business bank account as well. You'll have to do this as well. Uh, Please sit down with your uh, bank to figure out which kind of business bank account will be the best for you, depending on your operations. Also, get a motor vehicle record. Now, getting an uh, MVR is pretty easy in most states, but it pays to plan in case of any kind of certain delays. So there's usually a fee involved with this, and some states now have online options and digital downloads as well. In other states, hotshot truck drivers must have uh, to pick up a physical copy or wait for it to be mailed out to them, okay? Another thing you'll have to do is obtain a transportation worker's identification credential. That's a TWIC uh, card. The credential can help you to broaden the types of loads you can haul. This is not um, have to, but you should consider this. A TWIC lets you access secure areas such as uh, ports, Okay, TWIC is uh, regulated by the MTSA or the Maritime Transportations Act. Okay, that's how the regulation has uh, come. So, for example, if you plan to do drayage trucking or move containers between ports or secured warehouses, you will need that TWIC. Hotshot truck drivers need to undergo a security threat assessment by the TSA, including a background check to get the credentials as well. Another thing you need to do is apply for a DOT number or Department of Transportation number. Hotshot uh, trucks uh, can get their own MC trucking authority establishing their DOT and MC number connected to their LLC. But if you're only doing hotshot trucking, it may not be worth getting your own authority because it involves a lot of paperwork. You'd also uh, lease on another company's authority so they put their numbers on your truck. Okay, Essentially, they lease your vehicle from you. Most companies charge for this service, but it's an easier way to get going. Okay. Another thing is get a DOT physical and medical card. Hotshot truck drivers may may be required to undergo a DOT physical and get a medical card. This is a health examination to ensure commercial truck drivers are physically, mentally, and emotionally fit to be hauling ro- <laughs> loads on public roads, right? The FMCSA or Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration requires drivers to complete a DOT physical to maintain a commercial's driver's license, okay? Uh, And that's typically if you operate a motor vehicle for interstate, across state lines, uh, for interstate commerce, in certain vehicle weight classes or haul hazardous material. Another thing you obviously got to look at is purchasing or leasing the right type of truck, okay? It could it could potentially be something like a dually F-250 or maybe just a uh, air ride would be great. 
uh, and a, a good uh, gooseneck to go with that would be good as well. Um, or it could be a 450, an F450 as well. You got to decide which one would be the best for you uh, in that respect. Okay. And also purchase the necessary equipment to go with that. Okay. So when you get your truck, you got to get your trailer. So you'll also need tie downs, um, you know, other standard uh, equipment like come alongs as well. You might also need a special hitch for your truck or even more, more than one. Uh, depending on the lanes you drive, you might also need lights, flags, safety triangles, fire extinguishers. Actually, you should anyways have most of those to comply with DOT regulations. Okay. And get the right level of insurance. Okay. You will need a few kinds of insurance. Business insurance protects your LLC from liability and other claims. And also you will need vehicle insurance as well. So sit down with an experienced insurance broker agent who knows the transportation industry to review your options. Okay, so you know what you're going to do. Okay. Another thing is prepare your truck, make sure that you're installing hitches, other equipment needed, adding your DOT MC numbers on the side of your truck, lights, appropriate placards, uh, any other items, items that you need to comply with the DOT regulations. Install phone or GPS holders to keep your hands free for driving for comfort and safety and to keep your customers updated. Also set your rate per mile. This has to be set based off the operating expenses you're going to have. Make sure you stay above those operating expenses. Find your hotshot loads in the beginning on load boards and then eventually build your business uh, based off of, um, um, you know, the relationships you take offline from those load boards. And also for the payment side, Get factoring in the beginning until you're comfortable, you got the cash flow, you built a full-fledged business. And then if you want to do your own thing and build directly to your customers, you can do that. But factoring, especially non-recourse factoring, if you need uh, any help with that, you can reach out to me. I can let you know some good ones out there that you can take a look at and connect you with them to get that financing going. That is financing in terms of payments for the loads that you end up doing. Okay, so... If you like this video, guys, give it a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about hot shot trucking in depth, give me a shout as well. And uh, in the comments or, you know, email me. It'll be in the descriptions and we can go from there. All right. Thank you very much for listening and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.